evening everybody. Tonight I'm um, going to do a little product review for you and I'm very pleased this evening to bring to you the Type 15 shuttle by Company X. This was mastered by Blatt Models and let me tell you it's a thing of beauty. Better yet than me telling you, let me show you. So here we are. This is a um, six piece model 148 scale, so it's about three inches long. Don't let that fool you. This is um, probably the nicest resin kit I have ever seen. I'll pop this open. You get the explosion of chips right away. Well, since I pulled it out, very nice decal sheet by JBot Decals. Now, just to give you an example, you see how there's kind of like a, a, a sheen there. Well, some people might think that's the plastic bag it's in. However, take it out of the plastic bag, that sheen is still there. Uh, J-Bond has made these decals with metallics. Another example, I'm trying to zoom in. The grill right here. It's a silver, it's a black, um, black grill. Well, black trapezoid with a silver mesh and it comes with a whole slew of names here so a very nice decal sheet next up you get are the instructions pretty straightforward the only real thing you have to keep in mind is the placement of the nacelles Backside, a couple of color pictures, and this is for a decal placement from JBot Decals. Again, clear to the point. Doesn't get much. Life doesn't get much better than that. Now for the real star of the show, the um, kit itself. So main hull, you might think is two pieces, but in fact. There's a third piece. There's a little shim that goes in between. Now this shim is orientation specific. How do you know which side is up? Can't really see it here, but it actually says this side up. So you get sandwiched in between the hull halves like so. You could actually paint this model before assembly. And show you up close how sharp the lines are around the windscreen. Panel lines are finely engraved. There's not a bubble to be seen in this. And incidentally, I'm not gushing because this is a free model. I paid for it. I am just completely blown away. Though not as much detail, the attention to detail and quality in the casting continues here right down to the little access hatch the bottom section of the doors like um, these panel lines are a sight to behold the only the only cleanup you have to do is the pour stub and then the and then the uh, the vent stubs same thing on the bottom half what's left in the bag here is a small vent I guess they, um, some of the later seasons of um, Star Trek you had the Chrysler power scoop that you could put on the top there, later seasons. And then you have the engine nacelles. Like, very. The only thing you can nitpick on this is there's just a tiny bit of flash on the back here. There are no casting flaws in, the, in this at all. And same thing goes for this one. This is this is a thing of beauty. Um, I would I would say this is pretty. This little model quality, I would say, is pretty much on par with what you'd expect to see from a company like Fine Molds. Like I said, you could paint this beforehand and assemble it. There is 
This is one of those ones where you say you throw a, st uh, stick of glue in a box, give it a shake, and the model will fall out. So you throw in with that the beautiful quality of the, of the casting. You include with that these really, really nice decals from JBot. You've got an unbeatable kit. Retails for about $40. You can get it from the Starship Modeler's store or directly from uh, Blatt Models. And, um... Yeah, um, if all resin kits were made like this, we wouldn't buy styrene. Like seriously, this is—I still can't get over how nice this is. If someone was really intrepid, they could try carving this out to do an interior. I'd say, why risk it? Um, there's just this thing is just so beautiful. And this concludes my review of the Company X Type 15 shuttle, mastered by Blatt Models. It retails about $40 plus shipping. It's available through Blatt Models or through the Starship Modeler store. Is it worth it? Definitely. The, the casting quality is flawless. And just give you an idea how quickly this builds. Um, I had to take a quick little break while the furnace went off and it was running for about 5 minutes. That's about 90% of the construction done right then and right there for you. Um, just to peel it apart. There's the shim. Matches up. Panel lines all meet up where they should. Uh, this thing is definitely a little work of art. So if you want, and this would easily qualify as a weekend build and a little bit of effort, you'll have a really nice model. I can't recommend it enough. Um, so uh, if I were you, I would go out to visit uh, visit Blappy on his website or go to the Starship Modeler store. I'll put links down below in the annotations. And um, yeah, uh, pick one up. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching. Keep, uh, keep modeling. Wait, don't go yet. Um, I almost forgot. I found at the bottom of the box a display base. <sighs> um... This is like the only place where it has bubbles and even then they're minuscule and considering this is like a little bonus, you know, the shuttle sits nicely in scale with it. Um, you know, I'm going to be definitely keep, I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out for uh, Blaps models in the future because the quality of the casting is just too good to pass up. So yeah. Um, thanks for watching.